now. Hello everybody and welcome to the 10th, I think it's the 10th live stream that we've had on this channel so far. Milestone. It's it's, uh, it's pretty insane. We're joined here today by not only myself and Millen as per usual, but Max aka Ra Ra Rabbit. How many Ra's are in Ra Ra Rabbit? <laughs> just the two, just, just Ra Ra and, and Rabbit. It's just Ra 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 Rabbit. <laughs> Did I spell Rabbit wrong? R A B. Is got oh two. my god, you forgot a you beef I forgot oh a thing. God. I thought that was oh, going to fit yes, so well. Get it straight. Oh, that's <laughs> this is the 10th oh. Team Lucid stream, and you misspelled something. It has to be perfect, you know? Mm. Yeah. Come on, man. Not good. Not and a word like rabbit as well. I mean, come on. It's, uh... <laughs> it's, it's very Not easy. Not okay, man. It's, it's nah, easy to do, guys. It's easy to do. Well, I'm going to change that now. So, how are we today? How are we doing? Go ahead, Max. Uh, You're good. Okay, yeah. No, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm okay for the most part. If if not a little bit nervous, but um, I think I'm sure I'll I'll be fine. Everyone gets nervous on the first stream, as we said. Yeah, everyone gets nervous. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Today yeah. we're going to be talking okay. about how lucid dreaming can help with mental illness, or whether or not mental illness has an effect on lucid dreaming. Uh, Max kind of knows quite a bit about that, as he's mentioned in a video before that we've made previously. So we're going to touch up a little bit about that. Alex, you're not late. Like you're not late. What are you saying? Yeah. We just started nah, like nah. <laughs> thirty seconds ago. Yeah. If anyone, Millen was late, but he wasn't. So we're all good. I wasn't. I'm never late. I'm always late, but I'm never too late. Yeah, just just right. He's he's the uh, he's the exactly. third bear in the Goldilocks thing. Always. Um, so, who wants to kick off with talking about our subject matter today? Millen, do you uh, have maybe any? I want to I wanna maybe talk about what happened last week, because uh, Benji Tyra, I guess he's watching right now as well, um, he was like, yo, I missed last week's stream, what happened, can I maybe just, you know, get in, like a, a TLDR version of it, uh, and like thinking about it later, Last week's stream was pretty different than uh, than usually. I don't know how many people are here that have watched last week's stream. Uh, we talked about how um, how we're not all teachers and uh, how someone commented on that. And um, I'm I'm still pretty satisfied as how it went because um, we just want to do what we do, and I think that it works perfectly the way we're doing it right now. Uh, and everyone seems to agree with that. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say that again that we're really um uh, we really want to thank you for the support that we're getting uh the reason that my voice sounds different is because i'm using a different microphone right now i'm not supposed to be at home i'm supposed to be in brussels at my dorm room uh where my mic is i'm currently using this microphone uh so yeah that's why my voice is different but i'm still the same person <laughs> <laughs> well you're just a little bit more busier than normal, I think. Yeah, yeah, kind of. <laughs> uh, but and that's on... why I'm that's why I'm double trouble today. Oh Jesus! Oh, yeah, I'm really hitting it hard today. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You bet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's what's the plural for uh, Chafontaine in French? Uh, so Fontaines. Okay, that Fontaines. was less dramatic I than I was anticipating, but okay. Yeah. I don't know. If I'm honest. I haven't really thought about it. I mean, usually, I just have one bottle, uh, just one bottle. But now, yeah, I'm double trouble, man. So uh, I'll think one, about it. One of those days. One of those days. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. um, hmm, I don't really have a lot of experience with like mental illness in lucid dreams, because I've never, I've never needed to, unfortunately. Uh, Millen, have you ever done anything like that at all? Um, I, I don't really have any experience with uh, mental illness and uh, lucid dreaming, but I do have to say that lucid dreaming changed me mentally. Not that I was mentally ill, but um, like I hear with a lot of people, maybe more confidence. Um, and I think that someone with a mental illness is the... Uh, that was me. <laughs> uh, someone that has a mental illness... <laughs> uh, someone that has a mental illness is definitely going to have a, a very huge... Um, leap I guess if they start lucid dreaming and uh, they can use lucid dreaming to cure their mental illness um, maybe so, not, yeah. I wouldn't say so much as probably would well, cure uh, it cure m might be a bit strong of a word but yeah. um, mm. help, help yeah. I suppose yeah. 
Whereas mm. Matt, oh, you fixed. I just noticed you fixed my uh, rah rah rabbit. I know. Yeah, you, I fixed, just it, you fixed it. Fixed it a while ago. No one noticed. That's how yeah, slick right, and smooth well. <laughs> I am. If I hadn't have mentioned it. Yeah, that's true. I think I, I noticed that. I, I misspelled it. Ah, such a stupid mistake. But never mind. Uh, Max, how much Not experience good. have you had with? Um, well, helping mental illness. I'm glad. I'm. I'm. I'm glad you ask. Is. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, that is kind of one of the the biggest um, reasons that I do lucid dreaming these days. Um, initially, when I started out lucid dreaming, I kind of had no idea that it could be used for personal growth. Or, well, I did, but I didn't really care. Um, and it wasn't until maybe like two or three years into lucid dreaming that I decided to kind of delve deep into some of my own personal issues and explore that. So basically. Um, I hear voices and I see things. I was diagnosed as having psychosis when I was about 15, 16, I think. Um, like, it's kind of a bit of a complicated diagnosis because it kind of falls into the the whole family of disorders like schizophrenia, schizoaffective, bipolar, you know, those kind of, mm. those kind of illnesses. Um, so, yeah, voice hearing was always like a, a major thing for me, as well as depression and things like that. So, yeah, I have used lucid dreaming to kind of better understand the experiences that I have. Like, um, I've tried approaching it from different angles. So, with voice hearing, I kind of went down a spiritual path of, okay, could it be, could it be linked to something spiritual, something otherworldly, stuff like that. And then I decided to look at it from a more psychological point of view and see why why I would have those experiences from a psychological point of view. So there was a lot of uh, experimentation there with talking to my voices whilst in a lucid dream and seeing what they had to say about it. And I was, you know, it was a really interesting experience because it definitely opened my eyes to some things that I hadn't taken into consideration before. So, yeah, I mean, that was really, really powerful and it's definitely mm. helped me to find better ways of, to cope with things now and to understand yeah, myself. Yeah, I guess, I guess also kind of to understand it because uh, I, re I remember one, watching one of your dream vlogs in which you actually, uh, because you you named these voices, right? They have they each have their name, I suppose. And oh, yeah. I remember that you, you try to find uh, those voices in your lucid dream and to actually ask what the person or the voice wanted from you. And I think that's a yeah. very special thing I will. I guess I will always remember that because that's something that um, is very out of the ordinary, and I think is a very, um, uh, very good way to deal with it. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think, think so. uh, a lot, a lot of the time, like when people talk about lucid dreaming, uh, mental illness barely, barely even makes the top list of anyone's yeah. thing. But it's, it's like depression mm. is the most common. Um, oh, what do they call it? It's not. Not a disease, but it's the most common. Ah, uh, oh God, uh, diagnosis. Say it in, in the UK. <laughs> yeah. It's the most common yeah. thing that people are diagnosed with, and if it's yeah. that common, why aren't people more and more talking about it? It's just it's crazy, but yeah. it's because it's got that stigma attached to it. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. Like, yeah. And that's why when Ed said, "Can I just say how brave Max is? One of the bravest people I know." He's oh. he's, he's quite. Quite true. Thank you. <laughs> it's an incredibly brave thing to. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I, it's it's a difficult thing to kind of talk about and put into words, but I mean, it's been such a huge part of my life, and you know, I feel like it's something that I I need to do really for myself and for other people. I guess you know, if if even one person finds you know this helpful, then that's one person that I've helped. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you're doing good because yeah. um, you're also one of the people that um, in in the team we have very different people. I talked about this last week as well, and uh, you you use it as well to, to like um, try and I can't I can't use the word cure, but, but like help your mental illness. And I think that uh, Ed was already focused on the depression thing when he when he yeah. got into the group and everything. So um, yeah. Just wanted to say that you're a very important member in the team as well. Uh -huh. 
That is sweet. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's true. Yeah. It's definitely true because um, mental illness is something that, as you said, gives as a, like, yeah, it's not, often people just overlook it um, because it is something that you don't see. If someone's ill on the outside physically, you see it, you notice it. If someone's mentally ill, you don't always notice it and people have to talk about it in order to be able to to, to get help. They have to get help from themselves, you know? It's not like, it's, it's very out of the ordinary and I think that, um, yeah, I think that we as Team Lucid Dream have um, kind of a responsibility to also talk about that and how it how it goes in correlation with um, uh, with lucid dreaming as well. No, definitely, yeah, yeah. definitely would agree with that. <laughs> but that's that's why it makes this quite. I wouldn't say out of the ordinary for this stream, but it's it's probably one of the ones the streams that you know. I don't want to get into the yeah. the the point of where every time Max comes on the stream, we talk about mental illness because <laughs> no. he, he knows like a lot about it. So. <laughs> It's it's not very spoken about often. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it just is a nice nice place to be able to come and talk to at least somebody who knows. So mm -hmm. yeah, we'll link it around. Are there somewhere. people watching right now uh, in the comments that uh, have used lucid dreaming to 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 deal with their uh, mental illness or um, maybe are currently in some sort of like they do have a mental illness and. Are trying to use lucid dreaming because we're uh, we're curious to see maybe we can help you already now um, while watching the stream. So let yeah, us know. It's a good point. It's a good point. But um, if you guys remember, I don't know if you watched it, but we did do. A, well, I say we. Max made a video um, on the channel a long time ago. Well, I say a long time ago. This is our tenth week. <laughs> Do you know, that's, it's not that long yeah. ago. No matter what yeah, video yeah. I'm going to say, it wasn't long ago. But it was a a dream vlog. The Library of the Subconscious. Is that the one where you name some of your... Cause you uh, no, up... that was that was that was about a couple of weeks ago. I think that was last week, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to check um, the other one. You did a... You did a um... the, first, the first one I did was uh, like the second week that oh. we were on. And that was the one... That was the one where I talked about Darren... The voice that was sort yeah, of the voice. the negative the negative one, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, put in the that's the one that I was talking about earlier. Because because um, uh, spoiler alert, I write uh, me and Millen write the descriptions for the videos. End of spoiler yeah. alert. Um, but I, <laughs> I wrote in that video. I link it in the descript in the comment section so people can have a look to see that video because it's one of our most viewed videos. That actually, just so you know. Um, I said it's one of the most <laughs> profound dream vlogs I've ever heard, and I put that in quotation marks <laughs> with my name. Should have put it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna it's put like it. rated and approved by Giz. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, gonna... that's quite an honour. That is quite an honour. I thank you. I've uh, I've baited it as well. No, it was. It was, it was, it was quite an incredible, um, profound yeah. thing. Yeah. Let's have a look. See if that is actually our. Most viewed. No, the mute. No, the I, most I don't viewed think it's the most viewed first video. I think that's yeah. gonna almost be at one thousand views now. Um, mm, yeah. It was uh, the very first introduction video, um, the first Monday that we started. Um, well, it's I guess the most it's viewed dream vlog. How about that? Yeah, <laughs> that will uh, do. Okay, well, that's that's good. That's good. Yeah, I'm glad. Then it just yeah, goes to show, fun. you know, a lot of people. Yeah. Are interested in listening to it so uh, talk yeah. us uh max about your process of how you start how you even begin to start to help yourselves with mental illnesses in with or well, with lucid dreaming what's the first step you took well christ i haven't prepared an answer for this so <laughs> i know bear with, bear, bear with me um <laughs> i i don't know i guess i just came up with some questions that i wanted to ask first um that that's i don't know what more i can say about that really um you know i'm i've all, i'm quite a, quite a good lucid dreamer now you know i i'd practiced a few years before i did any of this stuff mm. so um <laughs> so like when you a bit when you words. go to uh talk I, I assume you ask a question in the lucid dream 
that's yeah i i as soon as i get lucid i'll try and seek out that one that one voice because like i say i do sometimes see them when i'm awake it's not that common but i know what they look like so i'm trying to sort of picture them in my mind when i'm lucid and, and get them to appear um so that's kind of that's kind of the first thing that i'll do is kind of really focus on on them and, and getting them to appear and just calling out their name really and, and hoping that they'll show up which doesn't is always that, happen but. I'm, I'm kind of curious about um the naming do you do that yourself or is that like is it is is nah, it... that that's the names they came with that's the names they told me so yeah that's they really, came with those names really quite interesting you said what was the name yeah. of that illness that you said you had i forgot already it's only been psychosis psychosis that's it um well yeah it's, it's, it's quite a broad term that covers a lot of different like disorders but um doctors really struggle to kind of put me into a, a specific one oh, it's so because just kind of it's, it's a mental okay. illness and you know it's, it's very difficult to like specify any one particular person because it's it's a spectrum as you said it's like it's just like yeah. trying to pick a certain color like on the wall you go oh that's uh, it's, it's white but it's not actually just white is it it's a different color yeah yeah, I, mean, um, yeah. I just came up with that off the top of my head and i think that's the <laughs> best thing <laughs> was, i've ever said that was very good that's the best analogy that <laughs> yeah. I've ever. i'm quite good one yes. thank you i'm useful yeah. in you, some Jer J 98 says i'm a lucid dreamer who struggles with mental illness and i find that lucid dreaming can act as a therapeutic escape from real life you mean um, waking life j niner yes yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Uh, here, I think Max should do a section about lucid dreaming and mental illnesses. It would be awesome. It would be great. It would Good be idea. Okay. Something that we yeah. will probably work on because, as I said, or yeah. as we all said, it's not something a lot of people talk about in regards to lucid dreaming. They'd mm. much rather talk about Emma Watson yeah, yeah. or something. <laughs> Man, um, you made a meme out of Emma Watson. Oh, oh, oh also, Max, now that you're here, um, talk about the. Maybe have you decided a winner yet for the the <sighs> Jesus poems? I have. I mean, I was going to wait till the end. Should we wait till the end of the stream? I, or? Think, I think we I should mean, wait till the end. Yeah, I'm. I'm dead yeah, excited. Okay. Yeah, that. yeah, I'm dead excited. Yeah. For that. <laughs> I am excited as well, wow. and probably you guys watching as well because I don't know if you know the prize, but it's a pretty sick one. Yeah, it's a it's a huge print. Do you have it in your in your room right Max now, made. Max? Um, I have a few sort of ones that failed to print properly, but I can. <laughs> yeah, I just right. want to well, well, gauge the size of this print. Yeah, same. Well, I, I, it's uh, it's A3, so I mean, oh, beautiful. I mean, look at that. I need if that. that <laughs> I need that's not, it. If that's not something special, <laughs> I know. So I mean, some some lucky person is getting that on their wall soon. So. Oh, <laughs> oh so man. good. Okay, um, Ali <laughs> that Katie. Will be one. One lucky team lucid dream watcher. Uh, Ali Katie asks, <laughs> I have a question for someone who said that if you drink apple juice before bed, you'll have vivid dreams or even lucid dreams. Is that true? Um, I don't know. I think there's also there's also one in which people say uh, eating a banana before going to bed is uh, will increase your the vividness of your dream. Um, and I did an experiment on that as well. And I guess it was I can't exactly remember because it's a long time ago but i think it, it is true in, in the case of the banana thing i don't know i've never heard of the apple juice thing um i, I know that well, i mean i am um, i drink a lot of strongbow um and i mean i guess that's sort of apple juice that's the next <laughs> next nearest apple thing to apple juice a twist. <laughs> <laughs> and i get lucid all the time so there you go yeah there you so go when in doubt cider <laughs> <laughs> just drink heavily <laughs> Oh no! I mean, that's probably not good advice, actually. But. But, so that what's the sponsor of the day, everyone? Yeah, I've got um, Cornish tap water. Again, Giz? Man, up your game! I got this, but this is a consistent, very good one. Yours is a consistent, very bad one. Oh, shut your yeah, face! Yeah, just just strong, just strong. But just if strong, anybody bro. from Strongbow is listening, um, I'm more than happy to have you as a sponsor. So yeah, yeah, yeah same here, same here. Yeah. Um, Cornish tap water, <laughs> uh, so Southwest water. If you wanna give me a free bill, <laughs> I don't mind not paying for water. That's fine. Actually, saying that, good, good. I'm supposed to be going to an event tomorrow about Southwest Water. I know, I know it sounds really weird, but they just happened to speak to me and 
and uh, I was like, oh yeah, I'll sign up for that. And they said, oh, we've got a little incentive and it's £40. Um, and I was thinking, oh, £40 off my next water bill. That's that's actually really good news for me. And then she was like, no, 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 £40 in cash. And I was like, <sighs> sign me up. <laughs> where, where do I sign? Yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not going to it anymore, unfortunately. Uh, but that's, that's that. Ah, oh, come on, man! Was your only opportunity probably to get sponsored by Cornish tap water? Yeah, I know. I know, and I, I I'm good. Man. I let it all down. I let the side down. Yeah, and you let us down as well because everyone in the stream is waiting for the times that we genuinely get get actually sponsored by these things. So yeah, you let could everyone you, down. Could you imagine if you we actually got sponsored by like anything, like anything, li anything on the list? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, so uh, Max, again, I'm just going to point a question to you. So your your um, yep. branch of psychosis that you have, like your spectrum, uh, that you're trying to okay. uh, help in lucid dreams. What does the psychosis entail exactly? Because a lot of us, including myself, um, we don't know a lot about a, a few like mental illnesses. I know some of them are more broad, but psychosis seems like a very like, mm, difficult to understand one from my perspective, I think. Okay, all right. Um, what, so do you want to you want to know what I experience, or? Uh, well, maybe is what that, that uh, what most people experience, and then maybe go on to say what you specifically experience. I mean. Okay, so psychosis is typically um, typically means a break from reality. So. That can include hallucinations, so you know, seeing things, hearing things, or sometimes like even like smelling things that aren't there. Like hallucinations aren't just uh, visual and audio; they yep. can affect any of the sen senses. Um, delusions, so you know, believing something that that clearly isn't real. You know, like some people have really kind of out there ideas of you know being Jesus and stuff like that. Ooh. Not our, not our G Jesus, not our Jesus, <laughs> but. Um, <laughs> But yeah, you know, it's typically um, described as a break from reality. So, again, it's just a lot of experiencing what other people don't really, you know. Okay, that's so for some people. Some some people may only have delusions. Some people may only have hallucinations, and it it can it can affect some like cognitive functions. So. Sometimes it's quite difficult to think coherently. You know, your mind is just a bit of a a minefield, really. I understand that. And have you? How how is the since you started using uh, lucid dreaming as kind of a, a remedy or a um, a thing to calm the mental illness? How did it go? Is it is it still on the same level? Is it going better? Is it going worse? Is it how is it going? Um, I mean, well, for me, I've accepted that this is always going to be a part of my life to some degree. And with voice hearing, I don't really mind it because I'm quite fortunate that my voice is, I mean, I, to me, my voice is just like other people, you know, so I guess I can kind of just have regular conversations with them. But obviously some people only have really negative voices, which, you know, are very difficult to deal with and people, you know, probably don't want them around. And you know what? I've completely forgotten the question. It's all right. <laughs> yeah, me too, because, <laughs> man, yes, you, you savage. Here, James says, I smell shit all the time and Beth never does. Makes me wonder. <laughs> yes replies with, stop sniffing the toilet then, James. Um, this is... <laughs> oh, yeah, sorry. Oh. I, I, I remember the question that I was asking how it affected me since. So... My experience of voice hearing is I don't I don't really mind that I hear the voices. That's always going to be part of my life. I have taken antipsychotics before, and they kind of take the edge off, but they don't really make everything go away. That might just be because I've you know wasn't on the right dosage or whatever. But you know I'm not really looking for that. Um, but yeah, I think I think I'm in a I'm in a, I'm in a better place. I mean I still have really difficult times. But that is just part of how I am and how I'm going to be. So I think it's helped me accept that as well, that things aren't going to be... I'm never going to experience life the way, you know, a, a normal person experiences life. But I'm okay with that now. And I think it's kind of helped me... 
it's, it's just helped me understand a lot of stuff so I know what I need to do really in order to kind of keep myself on track and, and not, you know, get too depressed, I guess. So. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's I, good. Hope that, I hope that answered the question. That was a pretty good <laughs> yeah, answer. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, good. Good. I'm glad. Yeah. I'm glad. Uh, for the 20 people watching right now, um, First of all, leave a like on a video. We want to see how many people like because a friend of mine he sometimes watches these these streams, but he doesn't really watch them. He listens to them like it's a podcast while he does different things at the same time. Uh, for example, also Benji is doing the same thing right now. He's uh, making an apple crumble apparently. <laughs> oh, uh, and apple crumble is my favorite thing in the world. That is. <laughs> oh God, so Benji. I think that it's a pretty good thing that we can we can entertain people maybe on stream while like they can watch us, but they can also listen to us. Um, if you're active right now, let us know. Leave a like on the video. Um, no, yeah. I, can't stand, I can't stand Apple Crumble. Why what? Not? Because back in year seven in food technology, we oh, had to make. Oh, here, it, here comes a story. I can already feel it. Yeah. Go <laughs> on. It's, it's not a great. It's not. A, it's not a great one. <laughs> so don't get too excited. Now, back in year seven, when when we did food technology, um, we had to make an apple crumble. And clearly the person who had been cooking before hadn't washed their chopping board properly. Oh, God. And I assume they must have they must have been cooking meat on it. Because I, I made the crumble, I ate some of it, I felt really sick, and I got sent home. And the moment I got through, like, the moment I got into my house, that was it. I was just sick everywhere. So, oh, to me, I, I, I associate apple crumble with, with vomit. <laughs> So, okay. Yeah, it's always like when you when you have something um, that that there's like something slightly off with it, you will always remember that and link the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds very true. Yeah. Here it says Kyle Christie subscribed to Rara Rabbit the other day. Good videos and a good addition to this team. Thank you. Yay! Thank you. Yay! Yay! That's like sub Rara really Rabbit. Really hashtag sub Melon. Don't forget. <laughs> Hashtag oh, yeah. shut up, villain. <laughs> Hashtag get fired. What's up? This What's is up? my Here day. Comes. Here he comes. Oh, it's already prepared. This is my is day. That? It's already there. Um, so yeah, I've never had a bad experience with apple crumble. All I remember is happiness and and joyful feelings. Wow! Wow! wow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm loving uh, it. The lesser known vomit crumble says Ed. Absolutely. <laughs> Hashtag unsub gears. Do you know what, Judo guy? I've had enough of you. Ooh, what? in before kick? <laughs> <laughs> no, I wouldn't kick judo guy. I've already done that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, Damn. So that, that's, it's quite interesting, like, just hearing about because we've been on air now for over half an hour. And it's just gone by quite oh, quickly. Really? Shit. Yeah, exactly, because <laughs> we're, we're talking about a, an interesting discussion, I think. Um, Apple crumble, of course. <laughs> when when, when Giz and I are streaming, it's always something something else, and yeah. we sometimes talk about lucid dreaming, but it always it's always about something else as well. And when we have guests, it's either you have Ed, which is like a whole lot of banter, banter. good quality oh, banter, yes. I mean, and when we have James and you, it's always like really good it. subjects and quality okay. streams. So yeah, <laughs> one day we'll find that balance, but when that is, yeah, we'll never day, know. Yeah. One day. You know, one day we'll we'll be able to get like a a Team Lucid Dream podcast with everyone or as many people as we can in. Oh, that would be that would be magic. Yeah, would be it'll magic. be it'll be mayhem, right? It'll be mayhem because I I don't know how we'd be able to moderate it because it would just be someone oh. talking or three people talking at the same time all the time. But... Or or like a huge Skype call or like a Google Hangout with everyone that wants to join. Yeah, and uh, and and. I looked Just in, interact. I looked into that and to see how fe uh, feasible that is, um, <clears throat> and it's you can only have a certain amount of people, like with webcams. But how many? I can't remember. I think Skype is ten, or is that Google? One of them. One of them is one, and the other one is not that. So, all right. It's, 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 I tried to look into it. So I was like, oh, it'd be cool if we could just get like a Google Hangout with loads of people with webcams and then just hang out. Like you should, but it doesn't work like that, unfortunately. I'll, I'll look into oh, okay. it more. I'll ask uh, this guy that I know who uses Google Handout yeah. quite a lot. Handout? Yeah, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, I'm looking through uh, the discussion of the week stuff. Um, 
maybe we can also highlight some of the things there if um if yeah we, if wait we... uh yeah if 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 nothing like maybe we can just do that end of the sentence <laughs> okay okay i was just yeah. just checking um yeah so max again i'm gonna have to ask you press you on the questions because it's as i said many times before and i'm gonna say many times afterwards it's not very often uh, okay that we speak about um mental illness but i said it first yes i said it first <laughs> i oh, don't I, take my credit well, I'm, man. I'm i'm glad that i have something a little extra <laughs> yeah it, it's it's very yeah, good. Definitely. good um so we know that you um as as we said suffer with psychosis uh, among probably many other things i don't know your life that yeah. well <laughs> thank you yeah i'm i'm <laughs> am i coming across as <laughs> yeah, <that's> <laughs> <laughs> um so so psychosis and you're uh, quite a experienced lucid dreamer and such so when you get into the dream here's what i want to ask because milan has okay. touched up about this before but when you ask a a member of your dream world um so okay. say for example uh, you've got like a dream character and you ask okay. him a question or something how do you know that the answer that you get from the said dream character is a legitimate part of your subconscious or your alter how how do you know that it's not just gobbledygook That's... Um, that's a good question, I suppose. Um, simply because it doesn't sound like gobbledygook. I mean, normally they give very coherent answers. Like, I guess I'm quite lucky in that sense that they do talk sense. But yeah, wow. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm quite fortunate there. So I don't know. I guess the answer just feels like a legitimate answer. I guess, and okay. you know, I'll, I'll go. I'll go away and think about it more in depth and analyze it. I guess once I'm awake and nice i guess you yeah know, I, I, I had I a, I a very similar that. experience to that in which uh, i i asked my subconscious a question and when i woke up i disregarded it straight away because i was like it's just you know that was not right but then afterwards when i was thinking about it and i i realized that oh yeah no that that's kind of hit the nail on the head that that is actually legitimate mm. so you're saying, actually makes sense <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. I, I'm gonna die alone, and I'm going to hate it. Okay. Now, um, so, you're saying that you go through a very similar process. Uh, how long do you reckon it would take for you to realise what was said in the dream was actually a legitimate um, thing from like an uh, altar? Uh, oh God, Christ, dead air! Come on, think of a think of an answer quick. Um, <laughs> it's all right, we got Don't time. I don't know, because sometimes, like I say, it can be so coherent that I, I don't really have to, to think about it. Okay. Um, but if there's some stuff that seems quite cryptic, I guess, I don't know, I'll kind of be fi I'll kind of fixate on it for the day and try and pick it apart and see if if there is something actually, you know, worth taking away from what they say. But like I said, you know, I'm quite lucky that most of the time it, it is coherent and makes sense. So Knowing our luck yeah. now, when you go to sleep and have a lucid dream, it's going to be like, don't forget to eat the Marmite, you know, or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I had a really weird dream once. That in mind. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I had a really weird <laughs> dream once in which I was... Um, I don't know if you guys... I know Millen doesn't know at all, but Max, I don't know if you know um, Cornwall that well where I'm from, but there's this place called St. Austell. Okay. Okay. So that tells me nope. There's this place called Saint Austell. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows Cornwall. You live in, in a. You live on a well, like. I'm. I'm. I don't know where, to but to somewhere <laughs> remote. <laughs> I live. I I know nothing south of Nottingham. So. I I don't even know where Nottingham is. So there you go. Ah, well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> oh my god! Roast. The roast. They're so that's, real. That's a, that's well, no, I want really. <laughs> That's just my knowledge of geography. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know. I know. Max, Max lives very close uh, to Leeds. I live am in I Leeds, right? so yeah, yeah. See, see, Not I, only close I, I am. How do I know this? How do I know this? Because you and talk you to the members of Team Lucid Dream, and I don't. <laughs> Ooh. <Yeah. laughs> Ooh. <laughs> hurt yourself, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can hurt yourself. <laughs> it hurt because it's true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, although I do play Minecraft with you guys, so. <laughs> right. And Millen doesn't. We'll get into that later on. Um, 
because it's quite interesting what we've been doing in Minecraft. So yeah, we'll, someone's been kind of busy lately. Yeah, with all your meeting <laughs> the special Natasha Bedingfield and all of that. <laughs> <laughs> You're just jealous. You're just jealous. Do you know what? Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, and I don't care who knows it. Um, <laughs> so oh, I've forgotten my point entirely. Oh yeah, Saint Austell. Uh, something about Cornwall. Well, yeah, so I'm in yeah. Saint Austell, right? In my dream. And in St. Oh, Austell in Waking Life, they have the biggest, like, mine of China in UK. So if you if you need to get clay to make China, you get it from St. Austell, pretty much. So any, like, okay. China pots and, you know, things like that, you get it from St. Austell. But the deposits of that makes this pyramid in St. Austell. So there's this, there's this massive pyramid. In St. Austell, you can see it when you're on the train, you can wave it as you're going to somewhere more interesting than where I live. And I had a dream and it told me, do you know what, you should probably go stand on that pyramid and it's just made out of clay. It's like, why would I want to stand on the pyramid? And it was only when I woke up, I realized, huh, no, this this is a load of rubbish. Uh, the guy was just, just a dream character just telling me about, you know, random subconscious things. So. That was tied in. It sounded better in my head, but when I say it out loud, it's not really that interesting of a story. <laughs> but it tied in with the whole. This is, like, this is how we do streams, as far as like oh, <laughs> the stream today, and then eventually this is like, Meh, yeah, it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I was just saying, like, because your subconscious can say something that, you, you know, is just nonsense. And that was one yeah, of Yeah, definitely. There that that was my story. Happens. Someone say something else apart from. <laughs> Well, I'm I'm gonna say this. Who who has disliked this stream? I've noticed we've got one thumbs down. Judo and guy, I... judo guy, it's judo guy. Oh, yeah. yeah was okay, judo. good. Because I was. Yeah, that's not. Nice don't don't practice. don't don't piss off a crazy person. Because. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, everyone uh, like okay. this like this stream. Yeah. So like Do just to, to uplift the dislike, you know, because judo guy ain't ain't no nice guy, you know. So. Uh, I'm just going to answer a few questions. Uh, Raven D. Shane has asked, uh, Max, have you tried asking a dream character to stop the voices during the day? Um, no, I I haven't. Um, I guess it's not something that I want to do, but I guess that's something that I could, that's, I could always try, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure. Um, and then there was another one. Uh, Max, do you use methods like mild, dialed, uh, etc. to lucid dream, or do you naturally go lucid? Uh, yeah, I use dialed the most. Um, I do do wilds occasionally, but I find it a bit of a pain in the ass to be on this sort of waking up and trying to go back to sleep and everything. So dialed is, is pretty much what I do. Um, but these days, I mean, I've been doing lucid dreaming for six years now, and I've got to a point where I don't have to put in as much effort as I used to do mm. so you know I'm, I'm still not a natural lucid dreamer but I, I don't have to like religiously be doing things during the day anymore you know so I, I don't know if that's an answer to your question but, but there you go that's a very good answer I think yeah um, mm. oh, I was going to say something I bloody forgot see this is why I shouldn't be the co-host of a podcast <laughs> <laughs> Uh, maybe you should be sick again. Just, just you know. Yeah, yeah. you know what? I'm gonna be sick again. Me and Max just, will just, just do this. You know, yeah, just, just behind the scenes. <laughs> <clears throat> so, let see. Let me see. What are the discussion of the week's uh, okay. things? Maybe we can oh, get yeah. some of those things. Oh, yeah. um, I see a pretty interesting one. Go ahead and say wait, whatever okay. you want to uh, say. You, you read your thing. This is again for Max. Uh, you were saying that um, somebody just asked you a question of Have you ever tried to ask this subconscious about? stopping this things it, without getting too personal because I know I mentioned it before we went on stream I don't know how much you want to discuss but uh, can you give us some examples of questions that you have asked and why you asked those questions or maybe not why but you know yeah um, it was more or less just asking what these voices represent like mm. why, why why are they in my life basically and, and what is their purpose and you know how can how can we sort of live together in in harmony really and you know just just stuff like that just trying to understand understand it from from that perspective i guess yeah yeah okay that's, that's quite a succinct answer i suppose 
Um, I I know this I know this is really unprofessional and all, but can I can I go to the toilet? Oh, <laughs> go ahead. I do it like every week, so it's fine. <laughs> I, was, right, well, give me I, t- I never do that. I, I'm just the only one, you know? Yeah. Well, it's because, you know, my nerves all built up and now it's... <laughs> it's all the cider. That's right, what it okay. is. <laughs> yeah, well, that that as well. Yeah. Right, give, me, <laughs> give me two minutes. <laughs> okay. All right, so for uh, discussion of the week, another thing by Brad. It's always Brad. Has it ever not been Brad? I don't um, think it has. What are some of your... <laughs> what are some of your lucid dreaming goals? So what he posts is... This was mentioned on Team Lucid's stream, and I thought it would be a good idea to make a discussion board to see everyone's goal or bucket list. Uh, some of mine include basics like flying, entering movie universes, go to space, uh, try and see the future because I, I have somehow done that in the past, and I want to get some actual recorded evidence of this of this phenomenon. Hmm. Um, That's a good one. Pretty interesting because I had the same thing about uh, three times um, in, in like a span of about two months, I think. In which I actually dreamed about something, and uh, and it turned out to be to actually uh, happen a couple of days later. Um, I I made a couple of videos on that as well on my previous channel, my lucid dreaming channel. Um, but bucket list none right now. It's pretty empty <laughs> because I'm not. You're busy, yeah, aren't you? I say this every week. Yeah. I Too haven't. Busy. I haven't made a bucket list as such. Um, because, as I said before, I'm I'm not really into practicing lucid dreaming. I like learning about lucid dreaming. That's going to change like very shortly because I'm doing a video series about it. But um, one of the things that just off the top of my head um, would be to meet Deadpool in a dream. Because I wonder how right. my brain would create Deadpool and what things I yeah, probably hear from Deadpool. I think that would be quite good. Hi Max. Okay, I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> hey, welcome Hi. back. <laughs> We're talking about what our lucid, what your lucid dreaming goals are in terms of like bucket list and stuff. Um, oh, okay. And uh, wait, I was gonna say something, but I forgot. Um, oh yeah, I used to, I I did used to have a um, a bucket list because it would help me to become lucid. It would be an extra motivation uh, if I have um, stuff in which I would of which I would think like, oh, I really got to do that. Then it would really help me to become lucid. Um, it's like an extra motivation. So for you, for the per, for the people that do not have a bucket list and you feel like you're kind of struggling, you're losing motivation, find something to do oh, yeah, and write it down, and and that will definitely help you um, to to be more motivated to lucid dreaming, put more effort into it again. It definitely does help. Yeah, because sorry, um, on, I was just gonna say that you know a lot of the time when I get lucid, even though like there's like limitless things that I can do I just can't think of anything to do so to watch you have like a list of things is yeah. really helpful yeah no that's yeah, definitely. definitely true they, they say that um, I think Stephen LeBerge or someone of that caliber <laughs> says that if you oh, I, th- I forget what the actual word is but it's if you enforce an idea incubate if you incubate an idea as you're going to sleep of what you want to do in the lucid dream it, it stops all of that that oh, um, I don't know what to do uh, when you yeah. actually become lucid. So yeah, yeah. incubation yeah. of your ideas. But a list is just its a phenomenal thing to have for mm-hmm. a lucid dreaming person. Yeah, of absolutely. Any, yeah. any uh, size or, sh- not size or shape, but any, um, oh, for Christ's sake, what is with me today, <laughs> folks? <laughs> Jesus. Drink a bit of that Cornish tap water and maybe yeah, it'll fall yeah. there. I, I think, the it's, words. Yeah, I think yeah. it's grabbing hold of my brain, this water. <laughs> Probably it's all a bit conspiracy. Don't. I'll get started on the conspiracies. Um, it's Trump. It's Trump. But as yeah, it was, it's all Trump. There we go. Um, it's all Trump. So uh, you missed my one, Max. It was um, okay. I'd like to meet Deadpool in my dream. Oh well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> you have the weirdest things well, to do. No, because <laughs> because oh, right, that's, like, that's not that's not weird. That's, it's, that's everyone's dream, surely. Yeah, but I just want to see how my brain represents Deadpool and whether or not my brain is actually Deadpool type funny. Because I'm thinking yeah. it's not, but I'd like to think it is. But yeah, I'd just like to meet him. Or just because I've done so much in a lucid dream. Like, to be honest, I've done loads of things that were on like my goal list. Not, not necessarily a bucket list, but my goal list. And yeah. I've done them all. 
So I need to make up a, another list of things that I would like to do. Yeah. In a... a couple of days ago, I dreamed that I was in uh, in the UK, um, and uh, oh, yeah, Gio that's... actually dreamed the same thing, but it was last night. Um, I'm because that's like it's a it's a goal for me that I have in real life, which I dream about. And that's something that probably everyone has had before. You're so, like, you really want something to happen. And eventually you just, like, you dream about it. And it's like, oh, yeah. And then eventually you wake up and you're just like, oh, fuck, it was just a dream, you know? <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. I definitely get that. It could be the other way around as well. Do you have any have goals any on your real life? bucket list, Max? Um, not at the moment. Um, I mean, I'm trying to think. Um I mean, I do have a lucid dreaming world that I've been building for the last few years, so... Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I read about that on uh, in the beginning of Team Lucid Dream when we we discussed this on on the face, on the on our Facebook group because you and, I guess, Geo have it? Wow, I was amazed when I read that, that you've been building it for such well, a long time. Yeah, I, I, I think the dream vlog on Thursday, I'll be talking more about it, so remember to to look out for that um oh, nice. but but yeah um because i think it was on dream views because uh, i used to be on dream views like years ago and someone was talking about like building a lucid dreaming world that you could return to like when you're lucid so i mean at the time i didn't think i was advanced enough for it but you know i figured well i'll give it a go and um yeah i mean it's been like three years now of building this lucid dream world and it's really crazy because every time I go back, it's all the, the same characters are there, the same places. Like, there'll be more stuff added to it, but it'll always be like the same. And like sometimes the dream characters can remember the last time that I spoke to them. So it's like really, it's really trippy to be that's honest. Amazing. It's just yeah, crazy. That's amazing. So. That if there is one thing that I would just um, absolutely the the problem that I think I would have is that. Um, whenever I would make something like that and start building like a, a dream world thing that uh, next time I entered a dream it would look com completely different it would just look different or stuff would be gone or something like that yeah. I think that, that would be what I would be struggling with and the fact that even dream characters remember you and you see the same dream yeah, character is so insane it's crazy yeah, yeah. It, it's, I mean some things do change but like you know when I'm trying to kind of visualize now for the most part things are pretty much the same um well he was gonna be I kind of go on no, oh, no sorry go max you're mid flow um, then i just 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 very very quickly um like some places i kind of i've kind of designed myself like when i'm awake and other places have just appeared naturally so i kind of i do kind of put some conscious effort into to making it but at the same time i like that it kind of you know a lot of it kind of springs up subconsciously and kind of forms throughout the dream so so yeah, as as yeah. hannah said uh, just a minute ago i wouldn't even know where to start with building a dream world that actually lined up with the question that i was going to ask you which was okay. how the hell did you start to build a dream world because i'm sure yeah. everyone wants to do the same thing i do so right. where did you okay. start um well i figured it's best to start with something simple like if I decided not to go for like a city because I figured that would be a lot of detail and um, you know I think it would be hard for the dream to always replicate that same amount of detail so I started off with a beach like I figured right okay so the first area is going to be like a beach area because surely that must be quite simple to for my mind to kind of create every time and I decided that the way I would get into this dream world is through a door so because I do dialed um the plan was like when i get lucid i'm gonna look for a door and the moment i walk through that door it's gonna lead straight onto this beach area and the first couple of times that i tried it didn't really work like i just end up in another room mm. um but eventually i did it i opened the door and i was right there on this beach and i don't know it just kind of went from there really and how, so, how does it how does it like i, I don't know why it popped to mind probably because of the beach thing does it feel warm or does oh it yeah like just the moment i open the door i'm just like hit with this warmth ah which, that's amazing I mean, yeah that like strangely that's the thing that like i enjoy the most really i don't know why yeah. i think because uh with 
with lucid dreams i guess you always kind of focus on the visual aspect of yeah, it yeah. and not necessarily like the other senses mm-hmm. so yeah the fact that you can feel this heat is just like wow that is that is yeah, weird it's absolutely amazing. we talked about uh, one of my dreams in in previous uh team lucid streams before in which i uh, i recall laying laying down on like a basketball court thing mm-hmm. um which was heated up from the very hot summer sun and it was like at a sunset thingy, like the sun was going down, and still the the the, uh, the floor still had that heat in it. Like it it happens often in, in the summer, uh, and yeah. it's just like so many people overlook it as well. It's it's such a special thing to feel uh, cold or warm, to feel like an actual temperature in a dream. Um, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Taste as well. Taste in a dream that always. Uh... Mm-hmm. That's always amazing as well, because I'm quite fond of food, and I'm trying not to eat, <laughs> eat as much food as I do in waking life. So, um, yeah, I, I also enough- read something about someone that um, was trying to lose weight, and I guess she or he, I don't know, uh, the person used to eat in a dream all the time, so that uh, yeah. he or she wouldn't be hungry in waking life anymore. Yeah, I think that was in Stephen LeBurge's book, wasn't it? The Explor- Exploring the World of Lucid Dreaming. I yeah, think that it, might have it does ring a bell, so yeah. I think it was in that. Um, yeah, that, that's mental. Following on from creating a like a like a world in your dream, yeah. there's always something that I've always wanted to do, and I've, I've every time I've tried to do it, it never seems to work. But it's definitely on my goal list, and that's to. As some people have mentioned it in in the comments there, but that's creating a character in a lucid dream. That will be like my companion, um, not mm-hmm. you know, not a sexual companion, um, <laughs> just just like a Doctor Who companion type thing. Who would every time I'd go into the dream, um, they would be there and tell me, "Oh, by the way, you're dreaming." Or when I see them, I would instantly know that I would yeah. I'd be in a dream. And I've always wanted to try and do that, but every time I've gotten around to doing it. Um, it's never seemed to work and it's called character assisted lucid dream so c-a-l-d but it's just one of those things that i've wanted to try but it's mad it's crazy yeah. i i do recall having a lot of dreams when i was a kid in which i uh, suddenly became lucid i was like oh shit this has to be a dream and then the the people that i was with at the time i just like i talked to them about how uh, i was in a dream and uh, i had to go to school in uh in a couple moments that would always be um and i remember always having to say goodbye and and a very clear scene that i remember is me getting into uh, an an elevator uh and i was it was about three people that i was with i'm like yeah i'm gonna go now and everyone's like it was like a really sad moment i was just yeah i gotta wake up i was like i gotta go to school and uh i said goodbye to all three of them and I, I so vividly remember the moment when I stepped into that elevator and the door closed and we were all waving. Remember, I was a kid, you know? It's <laughs> crazy. Like, and and just the fact that you can have these friends in, in dreams is such a crazy concept. And um, I don't, like, I don't think I ever um, see the same people in my dreams if I don't know them in real life. I don't have dream characters that consistently come back in my dreams. Um, if I don't know him in real life, so yeah, that would be an amazing thing to have to not always have to say goodbye. I don't, I don't have that a lot anymore, and I barely even have it anymore. Uh, it's I used to have it a couple times quite often when I was a kid, though. Mm. So yeah, a companion would be a great thing. I think, I think it would be just, it, it's kind of like it, it messes with my mind thinking about stuff like that because your brain can subconsciously fill. A, a character or an entity in your dream with thoughts and feelings and emotions and character yeah. and all yeah. of these things crazy. and it's it, it's it's crazy and it's kind of like again we're talking about mental illness we're talking about psychosis where you know sometimes you can have alters or you know alternate personalities is like the length thing and it's kind of like having an alter because it's still you but in the dream yeah and that exactly. that yeah. kind of thing just just it's like kind my of brain. Your- Maybe it's your like ideal friend. You, you uh, create a person that just like exactly the way you want it to be. Um, so yeah, that w- that would be absolutely crazy to just. Or yeah, I don't know. It's not always. It's always you, obviously, but it's not like 
you would exactly choose how the person's gonna be unless you genuinely like think about it like okay how am i gonna create this person but that would be in waking life i think and then eventually yeah. you kind of create this person waking life and then when you go to bed you just make it i suppose um yeah but the, the problem with that also is that um i barely remember faces uh when i wake up i i don't remember what people look like even uh, although no, what am I going to say? I barely remember what they look like if I don't know them in, in real life. So that would also kind of be a problem. When I, when I would start to create that person, um, I would probably have to think too much and wake up. Um, it's kind of like I always look at it as like a, a CPU or something. And when, I, when it has to work too hard, it overheats and it shuts off. That's what I have when I dream. If I have to think too hard about something, I'm, I, I will always wake up. So that yeah. would kind of probably be a, a backslash of I probably wouldn't be able to do that to very like in detail create a, a character. Well, it's kind of like because um, I think uh, what's his name Ed said just a minute ago in the in the comment section. Where is it here? It says bordering on tulpas now, and tulpa is where it's a spiritual thing in Buddhism. I think it's from Buddhism, but it's where you you will something into existence that's that's the spiritual side of it but you can use tulpas in dreams where you will something in a dream to have its own existence which is what we're kind of talking about where you you f f as i said through sheer force of will you just will something but tulpas in lucid dreams can often be very peculiar because when you go to talk to them sometimes if you ask the right questions they'll they'll claim to that they'll claim to have dreams themselves so huh. and it just like uh, just in my head my head is just Crazy. working on how to get around yeah how does that work it's but, like i have dreams sometimes and ac is going to like hibernate more like yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly it but you can learn to do stuff like that but yeah. it's it's just mental someone says it's just someone says i want to buy a few loose dreaming books today do you guys have any any top recommendations? Uh, I don't because I. Uh, he can't read. I don't. <laughs> 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 I can't read. I never learned to. Uh, no, I've got no I just. Got I don't read. I don't like reading. So. Just don't read in general. Um, well, yeah, exploring the world of lucid dreaming by Stephen LeBurge was the first book that I bought. So for me, you know, that's always going to be like the book yeah. on lucid dreaming. I did uh, read part of that. It's, it's, Anything by Charlie Morley as well. Charlie Morley's got a couple of books, uh, which I can't remember the titles. Uh, uh, we got Dreams of Awakening. Dreams, Dreams of Awakening. That's yeah. the one I've got in my hand um, right now. Then there's the Beginner's Guide to Lucid Dreaming, Somebody and he's got on, he's got another book coming out soon, which actually deals with um, the shadow aspect. Yeah, oh, he often yeah. talks. You're in that. He often talks about that. Yeah. So, well, yeah, he did a. It, uh, yeah, he spoke to me about a few things, so I should I should be in there. So it just like pop up I mean, as if, a cameo. If, if, there's, if there's any if there's any reason to buy a book, then you got to buy that one. That's, I'm in that's it, the so. reason. Yeah. Um, ex <laughs> exploring the world of lucid dreaming by Doctor Stephen Leberge is known as like the lucid dreamer's bible because that that yeah. is it. That's everything. But there's this other one that I sometimes show. Um, which I quite enjoyed, which I don't. you guys can't see it. She haven't got a webcam facing me, but it's called A Field Guide to Lucid Dreaming. It's, um, I've got that one, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a good, good one. It's by Dylan... Yeah. Oh, some uh, Italian names there. They've got slightly strange... Yeah. Some Italian. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce them. Like, that's that's, by, in there. that's who it's by. There you go, just, just there. But in this book, it taught me about being nice to your subconscious in a lucid dream because your subconscious is a part of you so when you're mean to a character or mean to um, anything in a dream then you can see that it's uh, it's part of you so don't be mean to it because it's like yeah. punching yourself in the foot you know or any part of your body really not just your foot so <laughs> there but yeah and and there's all, I'll see it for you <laughs> There's also Robert. I don't know if his name is pronounced Wagoner or Wagoner because I okay, don't know, I, I actually but, know yeah. this, and I was definitely surprised. It's pronounced Wagoner. It is Wagoner. Okay. Wagoner. Yeah, I thought it was always a Wagoner because you know it's German. Well, yeah, exactly. It's German. 
But it was crazy Germans. Then he was on uh, um, talking to someone I used to speak to online about lucid dreaming. His YouTube channel was something called like uh, One Dream Warrior, where it was called Doctor. Uh, Rory McSweeney. He was a YouTuber a very long time ago. Ah, uh, Mr. Rory. He's got a book as well. Has he? Which, which yeah, hang on. Just go. Oh, oh, bear with me. That's why there's a bookshelf behind you. But yeah, he's he's got. Uh, he was on his uh, channel talking about that and he was called Wagner. And I was like, what? <laughs> I thought it was Wagner. <laughs> Wagner. Yeah, Dr. Oh. Rory McSweeney. Is that her umbe? <laughs> 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 oh my god oh, I never thought yes. it like that now oh. that you said it <laughs> it's the paradox <laughs> the fact that we link gorillas with Harambe <laughs> automatically now is just so wrong anyway it's the paradox of voice of dream a metaphysical theory of mind uh, is it got which a I haven't picture of read him? yet has <laughs> it got a picture of him on the back uh, it does yeah I mean there you go. There you go. That's probably it's the, not great. That's not the greatest picture I've ever seen. But <laughs> never mind. It's probably my webcam. It's not. It's not his face. It's my web. The so, greatest picture that you've ever seen is probably the one of yourself. Your calf, calf muscles my on. Calf um, muscles. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your calf muscles live a life on their own. You know. Uh, just yeah. You got Geo is a living meme, and then you got the calf muscles. To Chilo, to Chilo. That's the name of this. To Chilo, Dylan To Chilo, Jared Ziesel, and Thomas Pycelle. That's the one. The field guide to lucid dreaming. We're talking about. But yeah, yeah. They've got they've got some nice artwork in there as well. If I remember rightly. Yeah, yeah. no, it's, it's definitely. If I was to do a, a book on lucid dreaming, or if Team Lucid Dream was ever to do a book about team uh, about lucid dreaming, it would be in the same kind of style as this because. This book has got loads of yeah. like, different bits of artwork and stuff like everywhere, and it it's quite a nice book just to have a look in. <laughs> yes, we want to see your calf muscles. You're not seeing my calf muscles, guys. <laughs> We've already seen my calf muscles. If you muscles. want to see Giz, if you want to see Giz's calf muscles, go to teamwithdream.com and click on about the team. <laughs> you, you will see Giz's I mean, calf muscles. Hang on, I'll get they are some calf muscles. <laughs> if ever they were. <laughs> This is just so awesome. There you go. There's, oh, there's the link. <laughs> you can see my calf <laughs> muscles on that. Um, James has got a book. I've not read it. I don't know a lot about it. But he's got a book, and he's part of the team. Yeah. Is it... So, buy his book. <laughs> has anybody... Uh, Max, have you read his book? Um, no, he's still... I, I, I was under the impression he was still working on it, but he, he's asked me to do some artwork for it, so, I oh. mean... That's that's good. Um, I mean, I, I was planning on doing my own art book at some point, but it's just you know, kind of getting around to it and figuring out how to actually go about self-publishing and, and all that stuff. So we'll figure it out. Um, we'll help but, you. I mean, I, I can't, oh, oh, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> Don't thank me yet. I'm I mean, full I of thinking, empty promises. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I was thinking about writing a proper book at some point. Maybe not. Not strictly a lucid dreaming, but it would kind of involve the whole uh, voice hearing s stuff. And <laughs> give your you legs, laughing? I swear. <laughs> Just the smug face. I'm telling you, I'm looking at this page. I can't stay serious. I'm so sorry, but come on. I'm in the middle of talking about something very, very personal, and you're laughing at <laughs> my calf muscles. No, 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 no. The calf muscles. But anyway, yeah, I mean. Uh... Oh, my limelight's kind of been stolen now, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, yeah no, James. James like... just said I'm going to print a few copies before releasing it to f for you guys to read. It's written, just not done editing yet. And a lot of the time, when you when you send a book to an editor or somebody edits your book, that ah, takes the most of the time. You can write a book mm. in well a week, or if you really try, but. Um, if you, yeah, <laughs> if you're mental, that is. <laughs> if you, I've, if, never, I've never managed. It's gonna to be do the that. worst book you've ever <laughs> read, probably. If yeah. it's written in a. I heard that. Um, uh, what's his name? Stephen King, who's, who's a horror writer. You may have heard of him. Pretty good mm -hmm. at writing books. Um, when he writes a book, he writes um, six pages a day. 
Wow. I don't think I could yeah. do that. <laughs> six pages a day. But Three, I mean, he's, 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 he's got a lot of uh, experience there, I guess. So. But is, that's probably without, like, it's it's not the final thing, oh, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Because that would, six pages a day. Damn. What, six, like, A4 pages? Or, like... I imagine it's just manuscript. So yeah, just yeah. whatever that is. Probably A4, actually. Well, no, it couldn't be. That's a lot. No. no. That's a no, lot. That would, nice. Wow. That would be insane. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag Team Calf Genetics. I definitely inherited the genetics for calf muscles and nothing else. <laughs> Maybe for height. <laughs> I'm quite tall, but apart from that. Uh, well, I mean, <laughs> so I... I... <laughs> I stand at a measly five foot three, so I, I haven't. Damn, inherited. that's that's <laughs> tiny, man. Oh, well. <laughs> I think yeah. me and Millen yeah, are the same. About it. We're actually the same height, Millen and myself. We're both six foot, yeah. six six foot and a bit. Um, yeah, I know. If only I got that whistle. Man, I, don't, I don't, I don't work in foot. I just work in meters. Please, someone understand that economy. Oh, one point um, eight three centimeters, please. One point eight three, it is. <laughs> Because I remember yeah. I, I Skyped you earlier. Yeah. And, uh, well, not earlier, but, you know, months ago. And Yeah, we talked about this on, on last stream, I suppose. I was walking on the street and just like, just a question. How tall are you? <laughs> I'm just like, what? <laughs> this? <laughs> yeah, anyway. Well, I didn't want, because in the future, like, when we get the team together and we've got a place to live, I don't want, like, because Max, if you didn't say, oh, by the way, I'm, I'm five foot three, I'd have been like, Shit, Max, you're you're quite small. Like, I didn't want to be, <laughs> I didn't want to be like surprised or uh, of how tall. Are you or open short. the door? It's like imagine seeing yeah. each other. Like, oh, guess I'm so oh. happy to see you. Wow, dude, you're really small. <laughs> but the thing is, imagine. between me and my brother, I'm the short one, and that's the annoying thing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I don't mind any of my friends being taller than me. Because I've got quite a few friends who like six two, six three. Five foot three. Six that's four. one meter, sixty centimeters. That is not. <laughs> it's not so tall. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm like I'm like the average height of a of a twelve year old child. So, <laughs> I mean, I very I very rarely have the opportunity of meeting anybody smaller unless they are an infant or very elderly. So, well, when I was <laughs> when I was twelve, because that that's like when you when you're going into the secondary school, isn't it? Like twelve. Yeah. When I went yeah. into secondary school, I was I was five foot seven <laughs> because I had a growth spurt between primary and secondary school. <laughs> oh I'm, I'd kill to be five foot seven. I mean that's <laughs> Yeah. Unfortunately elusive dreaming can't, can't do that be... for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can't make me you can't all be as athletic as you is like you have the body of like a, an Olympic athlete. We can't all have that, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Your advantage Shame it's a tiddlywinks athlete, but <laughs> other than that, <laughs> but those calf muscles though. Yeah, they they, yeah, they, they mean, come in handy. Yeah, they come in handy. I saw the photo. Uh, Do you my know, God. A, a problem with being really small as well is like it, it's like I, I look a lot fatter because I'm smaller. I'm more compressed. <laughs> um, I mean, that's a problem. <laughs> being, that's, that's a problem. I'm, I'm more compressed. So. Compressed. Yeah. That's yeah, Impressive. we'll go with that. Rather yeah. than you know overweight and eat too much, we'll go with just slightly compressed. Yeah. <laughs> What's it? What yeah. do they call it? Uh, oh, I don't know what. I was going to think of a word, but I've forgotten what it was. But that picture that was taken of me on the beach, just so casual, that was. I found a perfect rock that I could lie in, and it it um, was the exact shape of my like my body. So all of those rocks, I didn't place them there. I just happened to find a rock that just made me in the lounge position. And I was... Insane. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just a brilliant photo. My, I think my friend Holly took it. She's the lead singer of that band that I promoted once, um, Stone Roots. Phenomenal band, I have to say. But she just took it, and it's a perfect picture. Like I love it. It's the calf muscles, though. Awesome. Can I take this moment to just open this freshly oh. bottle? Go for it. Listen, listen, I'll put the mic in for. You ready? Real, real. Okay. It's not never opened before. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Here we go. 
Did you hear that? That was. Ah, that was something. beautiful. Wait, let me take the first sip. Yeah. Don't get it up your nose. Wow. Oh, that's a good year. What? Oh, that's a good year. <laughs> awesome. Oh, that's a really good one. It's vintage. That is that is vintage. <laughs> Sean Fontaine. Uh, some people are asking, do I run? No, definitely not. Unless it's to the bathroom, then yes. Um, Giz, <laughs> Giz, you're a mesomorph. I'm actually not a mesomorph. Funny enough. What's that? A mesomorph? Or a mesomorph. It's it's like a body type. Um, you get endo, meso, and ectomorph. I'm actually a, yeah. a meso-ectomorph, but um, if because of my muscle Giz, fiber type... Just choose one. Just choose one, You man. can't Come choose on. your Don't body type, too. dude. <laughs> it's, it's hard coded in your genes, man. Um, but yeah, ecto mezzo, yeah, and definitely one of those. Satisfying. What are we? Doing? Yeah. The bottle. Yeah. Well, unless we're talking about my body type, which I don't think it is, but yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe. <laughs> okay. You never know. Uh, I don't know what body type I am, uh, apart from short and fat. I'm just. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I never heard those body type things though. So. No, I, I I have, but like I struggle I struggle to gain weight and I struggle to lose weight, so I don't quite know what that, that category yeah, that right. is. Kind, yeah. kind of meso. It it is more that, depends on what so. muscle fiber type. If you are better at long distance running, then you're Christ probably it. probably ectomorph. If you're better at sprinting, you're mesomorph. But if you're stronger rather than better at power events, then you're probably an endomorph. So it's more to do with your muscle. I'm non. Fibers. I'm 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 non. <laughs> 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 It'll figure it out one day. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. Does anyone actually have any more questions for Max now that he's here? Enjoy it. Um, not oh, that yeah. he won't, won't be coming back or something, but yeah, yeah we'll just definitely have you back. Shoot the questions. Might yeah, as well. I'll be back. All right, Arnold. So yeah, questions. Question time. Hashtag Q and A. Nundomorph. Yeah, there you go. Max, you're a you're a nundomorph. <laughs> no, no oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Which means none of the above. <laughs> What's your What's best, your best feature? feature? Well, we've already touched upon mine. Oh uh, yeah, we know. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. I don't know oh. what to call my best feature. I mean, I mean, Christ, where to begin? Um, you've got like you've got good eyebrows. Know. Okay. You've got good uh, eyebrows. Me? Yeah. I've got good, well, there <laughs> yeah. you go. Got if there's eyebrows. one thing I've got, it's good eyebrows. <laughs> so, you fall thank back you for on that. that. That's all right. Because um, the webcam is not clear enough to see the sparkle in your eye. So, we're going to have to go with eyebrows. I do have I, I do have very big blue eyes. Ah. So. <laughs> there you go. Watch, watch his videos. Watch his videos. Yeah, yeah you'll be able yeah. to see. See. Okay, Melon. What's your... Melons. Melons is that hair... It's always the name, guys. <laughs> and it's not like they don't know. They all do it on purpose. That's like why they call me Edward. These comments. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Ed Edward and Melon. Yeah. Anyway, I actually, yeah, that, 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 my nickname for a while in school was Melon, believe it or not. Yeah. Because um, it was uh, a lesson uh, during an English, English, English lesson. Christ, I can't even say the word English, and I'm English. Mm -hmm. Um we were doing about we're doing something that involved fruit and one of the teachers ended up calling me melon and then she was really scared that i'd tell my parents and get her into trouble i was like it's it's not that big a deal <laughs> yeah. so for a while for a while i was just known as melon so there you go melon in fact, all right in fact, hang on a sec or as larissa says for me joshua as well joshua the name on my birth certificate when when <laughs> I, oh, really, yeah, yeah. <laughs> why is that the, the the way you said it was so funny i don't know why you said it different you say birth certificate say that again birth birth it's it's <laughs> like it's <laughs> like b-e-r-t-h like uh, uh, i can't do uh, it like, but yeah uh, that's that's proof good good when i left uh, high school good oh, so, there you there go, you go. Uh, <laughs> sweet. Sweet. yeah um, uh, which Beatles album is your favorite melon? Oh, come on. You guys probably saw the um, the uh, uh, British versus American video and saw the Abbey Road thing in the background. Mm. But to be honest, I know a couple songs by the, Be by the Beatles. I don't know all of them, obviously. Uh, I bought it. I went to Abbey Road when I was in London 
and uh, I bought that poster somewhere in London as well because I'd been there, but it's not like I'm a huge fan of the Beatles. So don't kill me. I, did, I didn't even know where Abbey Road was, so I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know how to I spell. Think it, I think it's Liverpool because they're from Liverpool, but there you go. Yeah, but it's not. Ah. M- Milan, what's your favorite correct spelling of your name? Melon? My favorite is Melon. <laughs> how about you, Melon? <laughs> oh, come yeah. on, man. Uh, no, I just prefer it, Melon. Melon, if you if you want to be uh, lazy, and Milan, if you want to just respect my name and be <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the just want to respect the person. Like I, I thought your name was Milan, for like. Yeah, five I years. Thought you were yeah, but Milan. It, like some people call me Milan, some people call me Milan. It's all fine. Like it's all good to me. Because either way is fine. It's the, like Milan's like how you pronounce the city, right? Yeah, yeah. that's why. I thought Milan. That's, that's why. I call me Milan. Name. Call me Milan. It's all the same, you know. Yeah. But in, right. in, just don't, just I, don't. I pronounce my name, and everyone in Belgium pronounces it, it as uh, Milan. 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 So emphasis on the yeah, like, <laughs> Milan. E. Milan. Milan. <laughs> yeah, kind of like that. But the way Money. the way that I remember it is that it's Millen, it's like Dylan, but with an M. <laughs> but with an M, exactly. <laughs> ah, bye yeah. bye, Alex. Well, I'll yeah. see you later. I was just uh, about to no, say Mulan. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Mulan. Yeah. Mulan, yeah. Has someone ever called you Mulan? No, but the question I get all the time is, are your parents AC Milan fans? No. <laughs> <laughs> My mom called me Milan because of uh, Milan Kundera. I don't know if you know him, the don't, writer. Nope. You might as well have just hey, been man. speaking in Japanese, Milan. <laughs> I had no idea what the words were. He's a pretty, pretty uh, famous writer. Oh, yeah. Uh, that Milan thing. Kundera. Look him up. No. A few, people used, <laughs> a, few people, a few people used to struggle with my name. I had a different name before. Oh. That's a topic for a different day. Absolutely. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean we've covered mental health. I mean I think we'll 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 leave it there. That's, that's a heavy that's a heavy bombshell for one day. We'll, <laughs> next 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 time you're <laughs> next on next stream we'll have a whole other topic. <laughs> but, but basically, I was born with uh, a different name, and it wasn't like a difficult spelling. But I had I had an, a letter in it which isn't normally in that name, and so people really struggled with spelling my name correctly. So it, it was Peter, <laughs> but with an X. Right yeah. in the middle. <laughs> yeah. That's precisely what it was. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> nope, nobody. Wow. Yeah, that, 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 probably, that was probably it. Everyone called yeah. you Pexter that for was, that, God knows how long. Was... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I've, uh, I've I've got a much easier name to spell now. So oh, that's that's can. Yeah, at least your name so. isn't fictional. So. My, my, yeah, my... what is the, what, what is the uh, story behind your name, Giz? So you know, because... you know Gizmo the Gremlin, right? <laughs> it's not yeah. Giz, it's Edward. Oh, shut your face! <laughs> you know it's Gizmo... Joshua Edwards. Josh, Joshua Michael Edwards. Yeah. Um, do you know Gizmo the Gremlin, the Gremlins, the film? Yeah. yeah. See, I, you'd made a video about this before, <laughs> and I wasn't sure if you were just like, you know, taking the piss. But is that seriously the reason? That behind is seriously your name? the reason behind my name. So I was oh, named after out. Gizmo the Gremlin. <laughs> Because I made the sound of Gizmo the Gremlin when I was so, born. So literally, I didn't, I didn't even notice. Literally, on your birth certificate, does it say Does it say Gizmo? I mean, is, is no, your name no, no, Gizmo? No, no. Here's the story. We, we've we've said it before, but here's the story. Ken. I'm dying. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Milan oh. loves this story. All right. So when I was born, <laughs> I made the sound of Gizmo the Gremlin. So they right. nicknamed me Giz. I don't know why not Gizmo, but just Giz. And then okay, well, uh, probably because Gizmo is just a bit too far, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a bit weird, isn't it? I mean, like, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> but uh, so we got Gizmo, I uh, call Giz, and then in England, as you <laughs> probably are aware of, you have a month to register your child's name. So in that month, they just called me Giz, and then they came up with that a name, seriously, un- which was Joshua. Wow. So they put Joshua okay. on my draft certificate. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, fuck, we gotta be something else. <laughs> Nobody knows it's actually Giz. We, can, we can't name our child Giz. <laughs> so then okay. when, when I was 16 and I got my national insurance <laughs> card through the post, it said yeah. Joshua. And I was like, whoa, like, who's this? Who's, who's Joshua? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. So I've been raised oh. as Giz for like... Right. All of that time, and then I had to change my name by deed poll because all of my GCSEs and <laughs> if, everything if, was under Giz. 
<laughs> so you had to, you had you you are you are legally giz. I am legally giz, yeah. And I was okay. gay. I had this moment where I had like the piece of paper in my hand, and I was like, okay, I can I can give myself any name in the world. This is this is too much power. <laughs> <laughs> so I was considering having oh, like tell me about it, yeah. I was considering having like danger as like my middle name or something. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. so then oh, oh, it was like oh what's your uh, like don't go in there it's dangerous and i'd be like oh, danger is my middle name but <laughs> yeah. lewis wow. just is, Ch- is danger edwards yeah i like the name oh, michael man. though it was my um, so lewis oh, just yeah. asked um you live for not how danger long than michael yeah michael so it's the archangel that would do right i'm really sorry but i have to wee again so I, there's no way i can't not is your, wee is right your now. bladder the size no. of like a, a walnut <laughs> Well, I'm five foot three, so uh, all oh, right. Everything's compressed. Yeah. <laughs> I really, I'm really sorry, boys and girls. Give me, give me two minutes. Uh, men. Oh my God. I'm a man. Stream. Thank you. This stream. I am telling you, the amount of minutes that I left in total. Ah, <sighs> wow. Let me take a minute to breathe here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here it is again. Uh, okay. First, the calf muscles, and <laughs> just the, the fact that you laugh at your own name all the time. It's just like it's if a I get to story. explain the story again, I've oh, got I've got fuck. it down to like like a good time. <laughs> like so, I've explained it so many times. It's yeah. it's really concise. Probably. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I was also about to say, I um, like Milan here is like a really normal name. It's like not everyone has it, although it was like most used boy name in like 2007. So when I'm like... Hashtag represent. My, yeah, hashtag represent. But like all the little tiny stupid babies are called Milan now. So like, yeah, I'm waiting for the moment until someone says, isn't that a baby name? you be like, do you know what? <laughs> do you like all your teeth? <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, I don't have a middle... Uh, I was just about to ask that. Louis, I don't... Um, do you guys speak any other languages? Yes, Here I speak go. French, I speak <laughs> Dutch, I speak English. I, uh, yeah, I, I started learning Portuguese. I kind of cut that off. Uh, I know basic, basic, basic Italian, and yeah. I know English and a bit of German. I'm very fluent in sarcasm, and um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. What about you, nice. Max? Do you know any um, other languages? Yeah, hey, I'm back. Uh, no, just English. And I briefly started learning how to speak Finnish. Just Finnish. because I... Finnish? Just be, like... Yeah, just be, well, I, For some reason, I've kind of always had a bit of a fascination with that area of the world, like Sweden, Finland, Scandinavia and all that. And I'd have, I've got a Finnish friend, so I figured, well, I might as well learn Finnish, but... Because uh, of the hot chicks, that's why. I mean, if there's a reason, I would, I would learn either Swedish, uh, Finnish or norwegian then the only reason would be to pick up chicks there because they're all hot so yeah people are uh, possibly, people possibly. i mean i'm uh, i'm uh, I, I think that's not quite what i'm interested in if i'm honest <laughs> uh, <laughs> no uh, i don't know how hot the the swedish and finnish men are but <laughs> anyway <laughs> well, you've got you've got you've got um the mountain from game of thrones i mean on a scale of one to ten he's pretty he must be... Yeah, it's, it's not quite. I don't know. I'm not... Hmm. Well, that's giving me something to. That's giving me something to dream about tonight. <laughs> is, so thank you. Half... Thank you. What's his name um... for? Jim, I'm fluent in passive aggression, both verbal and sign. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Um. So yeah, a slight, slight bit of finish, but I've completely forgotten it all. So it's just English, really. <laughs> that's no, it. it's fair yeah. enough. We wait for everyone to learn our language. That's the thing. We're, yeah, we're yeah, yeah exactly. It's always, like whenever you guys go abroad, you always expect everyone to speak. Uh, I mean, we're English. It's, it's we used to own the world, so yeah, so <laughs> kind, of, <laughs> kind of true. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but the thing is, Millen, that every time we go across to a different country and we expect them to know our language, they always do. <laughs> yeah. Why can't yeah. we just speak <clears throat> English? It'd be so much easier. And unless, everyone, <laughs> have you ever been to Spain? Uh, yeah. Been to Tenerife, which is just I, an island. I've been to there. Barcelona, and not a word English. Not a word. No French. No English. No nothing. Just Spanish. And everything on TV, 
was actually was like dubbed in in Spanish. It was horrible because you can't communicate with anyone there. Even though I noticed a couple of people here in the chat, their first language is Spanish, and they come from Spain. I wonder where did you learn your Spa uh, your English? Because on national television, everything like everything is always dubbed. Well, that's only if you're Barcelona, though. Surely, Barcelona is huge. Yeah, I know, but it's like if you if you expect two know. places to be to be uh, English speaking as well, it would be Barcelona and Madrid. Yeah, and you would. Yeah. But not the case. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm from the north of England, and I don't have a very strong northern accent. You could um, fool me. I do. <laughs> <laughs> really? Because like people, like it's really weird because I've always, throughout my whole life, I've had northern people thinking I'm southern, which is really like confusing to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I do try and speak more clearly when I'm like doing videos and stuff because I mean. Mm -hmm. I, I don't. Hey, want to. you know, Max, go all out. I want to hear the accent, man. Do I it. Don't know, I don't know. I, it's kind of. I've kind of lost it a bit. Like when I was in high school, I gained. I gained it a lot more because I went to a high school near Castleford, and that was that was very Yorkshire. So it's kind of. I don't quite. I don't quite have it anymore. I'm sort of. I. I don't really see myself as having an accent, really. But Everybody says that. No, your right? accent's pretty okay. Like I do. Yeah, I don't. A bit of a difference, though. Well, like, yeah, there's, there's a big difference between me and Giz. I mean, I yeah, yeah, definitely. Giz. And there's <laughs> a <laughs> couldn't get further apart. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. No, no, no. I guess the person with no. the most polite English is Gio. Um, Gio's like, got a the... very nice voice. Gio's yeah. got a very nice voice. Like, yeah, yeah I'm talking about an accent, not really a voice. <laughs> oh, well, no, his voice is just like good anyway. Yeah. He's... Soothing. Yes, yeah, soothing. Butter. Yeah, he's. Yeah. You could listen to it as you're going to sleep, and yeah. you know, it's Gio's. Your... All round, but, but, Jeez, but what a guy! But as as a northerner, it's always very annoying when you hear an American person do a British accent, and it's that typical, like southern, like oh, I'm Harry Potter type accent. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm but, um, I'm waiting for the Liverpool accent. I'm or, oh well, yeah. Uh, I know that Scottish. Is, like, is Ben someone from our someone who watches? Ben. I'm sure. I'm sure he's yeah. Liverpool. He's a Scouser, isn't he? Yeah, I can't he's do. I can't do that. I can't do a Scouse accent. But if oh, I was to say, to, if, if Millen, Millen, yeah. if I was to say to you, what have you been up to, Millen? Oh, oh no. Wait, say that again. You That's were disturbing yeah. a bit. What have you been up to? Oh, oh no. <laughs> what have you been up to? Oh or no? Something. Out or not? Uh, out and out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, out means anything. No means nothing. So I'm asking you: Have you been up to anything or not? So, have you been up to what? <laughs> what's happened? Oh or no? Uh, out or not? <laughs> Actually, I was playing a game today, and um, <clears throat> I uh, I noticed a, a different, uh, like an accent that I hadn't heard before. Posted it in the in the Teamless Dream page yeah. as well in the group that we have because I'm trying to get as much inspiration for the accent series that I'm going to do as well. And um, uh, and then afterwards, I heard something like, uh, "What was it again?" I told you I, as well. I, I yeah, yeah, Ken. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, something oh, with I, Ken. I done a Ken. Yeah, yeah. Man, I had it. I had <laughs> never heard it before. Well, never. no, neither did I. But I managed to figure out what it meant because I know what game you're on about. Because I, I mean, I was when well, my partner was playing through it, and we heard that, and we're like, "What?" Yeah, it was. It was a sentence. <laughs> it was it done a Ken. Yeah, I was like, "What the hell is that?" So I looked it up, looked it up, looked it up. Didn't find it. Eventually, I found it, and it means it doesn't know. Yeah, it done a Ken. I'm like, what? The funny thing is, Ken in Dutch also means no. So. That's weird. But I didn't. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, not too yeah, it's, Here, it's... David says, Milan are English movies and TV shows not dubbed in Belgium. That's very common in Germany as well. Mm, um, kid shows are, but that's only just kid shows. <laughs> no, like, no adult thing. I mean, if you, if you were to see a series or a movie on TV that is not for kids, then it's not dubbed. It's always with subtitles. So, yeah. How do we get from mental illness to lucid dreams to accents? Uh, it always ends up with accents. Yeah. Always. I mean, the, the fact that <laughs> the fact that we did a stream on lucid dreaming is quite. An yeah, that's an accomplishment. <laughs> no, so. no offense, you guys. <laughs> no, we're we're awful. <laughs> we're, yes, really. always, we're always surprised ourselves. Like, yeah. Like, every time someone yeah. makes us speak about lucid dreaming, we're like, well, it's what the channel's about, but doesn't mean yeah. that's what we talk about. No, <laughs> doesn't always go quite how you plan. But no. there, yeah. Because uh, you would. 
you Miller were talk like you messaged me about that a Dinny Ken thing. A Dinny Ken. Yeah, obviously it now it's Scottish, can. but yeah. you you That's said it. what you just put a message saying what kind of accent is Lizzie's? And I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> what accent is Lizzie? So I had a look. It had a video. Yeah, it's and, based in Shrop- Shropshire, isn't it? Yeah, but is it's, that where it sounds Shropshire? like um, it sounds like a mixture between Welsh and Bristolian. So it's like. It Should was... I play it very quickly on my phone here so people can kind of get an understanding about what I'm like, what we're talking about here? Like, a very... I, I, it's very West Country, but obviously I don't really know the the fine, intricate details of those accents. So for me, it's just something West. It's, it's a West Country. Type. Right, listen, listen to the female voice. This is great. John, baby Dylan, is he all right? He's fine. Die. Come on. It's okay. Let's get you a cup of tea. Mrs. Graves, I need to tell you. Leave it. Die. Do you try and get out of the valley all the roads? It's are weird, right? All the roads. Like, enjoy yeah. your crumble, right. Ben. Enjoy your all crumble. Right. Sorry. Yeah. Roads, all right, and, and stuff like that. I Man, I was like, Hello, my lovely. from? Yeah, it's sort of, it's Welsh-ish with... Like, like the roads, like when the, like the Welsh, like the accent of the Welsh is all like that and all the time. So when he says roads, <laughs> it's like that. But when Lord, the the other Lord. words is sounds like Bristolian, which is all yeah. like, like um, when you think of West Country, it's probably Bristol accent. So it's um, Bristolian. How does that sound? I forget. Right, right there, my lover. Like all that type just, of words. Yeah, like, yeah like, my oh, it's really Hello, my lover. Right. But just uh, an interesting thing here is with my voices, um, I have one that has a Boston accent from America, which That's is a bit of a weird, what? yeah, tight moment. You mean your um, alter, not not your voice, because <laughs> if it just I see, I don't, I don't know quite if I'd caught. I mean, because an alter kind of uh, is related to dissociative personality disorder, I suppose, which yeah. is more oh, oh, not what you've got. We can call it. Cut, Cut no. <laughs> well, I mean, just cut, call it what you want. I mean, ultimately, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I've got one that's got a Boston accent, which is very weird because when I first heard him, obviously that was like, what? Like, where's that coming? Where's that coming? From? You were like, you yeah. what, mate? You yeah. fucking mind? Yeah, I developed a completely different accent. <laughs> oh my god. Um, <laughs> um, and then the other one's quite like posh i guess i mean i'd call it posh but i'm old and so you know everything's posh um <laughs> preach <laughs> you th- and then and the other, like one's got a slight dorset sound so a slight west country sound to him so i mean it's oh, i don't know i don't know my head's full of full it, of it so it is truly <laughs> just amazing listening if I got, to you if speak i got about someone who could like speak that. in a different language that'd be fucking amazing but i once no, yeah. I if i ever told you uh, i think i may have told millen actually or we may have mentioned it on the live stream, but I once dreamt in Italian. So, I, like, yeah, I know, I dreamt in Italian, everyone was speaking Italian, but my <laughs> inner monologue, so the voice I had in my head when I was in the dream, was Italian as well. But the thing is, I don't speak any Italian. So when I woke up, <laughs> I was like, what What just happens? Like, Wow. It's kind of like... The, you probably only heard, like, pizza, pasta, pizza, pasta, Roma. Yeah, 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 Mario, yeah. Mario, Mario. <laughs> in Italian, something you is probably, telling you something. You probably heard a lot of sort of xenophobic style stuff. There. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, that was, that was yeah, just pizza. Some... pizza. <laughs> I think it was just because I was playing... Typical stuff. I was playing a lot of Assassin's Creed at the time, so... Oh, yeah. There you go. But, yeah. I mean, like when, when you woke up, could you actually remember any specific words from that? And did you find... Nope. Did you check it's if they were Italian? That's, that's what you remember, yeah. probably. Yeah. Salute, uh, Claudia. <laughs> that's just come out as well, hasn't it? Yeah, that's just come out as well, hasn't it? The uh, Ezio collection for PS4. Yeah, and Xbox exactly. Uh, I guess it was <sighs> the know. 17th or something. I wrote 18. it down because I... Uh, 18, 18. Well, it came out 18th. Yeah. But it doesn't look. I mean, why would you buy it? I've got all of them for PlayStation Three. Like, yeah. I mean, it's not that big of an improvement. That's, yeah, that's, that's the thing about. Uh, it kind of annoys me that they just re-release the same games, but then at the same time, that's, I guess like, you... if they would actually like make it a lot better, then I would probably buy it. But not not too big of an improvement here. Yeah. I, um, okay, so I'm just gonna say now it's five past nine, and as much as I'd love to talk longer. Should should we wind down? We should probably yeah, yeah, wind definitely. down. Yeah, we could right, talk okay. forever, but um, okay, yeah, we can so. we could uh, speak about a different uh, stuff a different time. Uh, so, 
It was lovely having you on, Should... Max. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. But, but before we go, we've Minecraft. got the we've got the oh, geo. Right. Oh, yeah, geo! Yeah, yeah. Jesus, yeah. Yeah, come on, <laughs> you guys. Yeah. Oh, on. this is pretty exciting. This is pretty exciting. Right. Okay. So, what I decided to do in the end was actually to give to two people because the poem that I fell in love with to begin <laughs> with was by Ed. Um, which he did like the Lord's Prayer, um, but but with you know with Geo, so I absolutely fell in love with that. And I thought, right, Ed, you've got to have you've got to have you've got to win that. Which I'm trying to look through the uh, Tim Wizard Dream forum right now, and I might be a little bit drunk, so I am struggling. <laughs> <laughs> I, am strugg I am I'm struggling slightly, but yeah, right. So Ed, Ed, you win a copy. You already I've 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 mentioned that to you already. But because Ed is a team member, you know, I didn't want to just give it to a team member. It felt a bit wrong to do that. So Ed wins for the team member one. But the other winner is Morth, who recently wrote one that included everybody's name in it. That was phenomenal. I was, I was nice. absolutely, especially, um, how do we pronounce his name? Stein. Stein. You know who I'm Stein. Stein. Yeah, St it, Stein. He, he, Stein. He, yeah. he told me it's like <laughs> if you think of Einstein, but without the Ein. Or a beer, or a beer Stein. Kind of like that, yeah. I'm thinking Stein. of alcohol. <laughs> right. Stein. Exactly. Exactly. The, the way that they incorporated Stein's name was by far just the most magical, amazing thing that I've ever witnessed in my entire life. So. <laughs> Because of that, Morth, you're you're winning a copy. Congratulations! Uh, I don't, right, well, you're making me read it when I'm. No, no, right. don't, don't don't read it because <laughs> it's one of those things that you've. Oh yeah. You've got to look at you it. Can't so. really. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's true. It's a bit, it has a visual element to it that that, that needs to be appreciated. Oh, I was just about to try um, Although it. I do, I, I do like the line about pidgeys and pharaohs because that involves Pokemon, which is another thing which is fantastic. <laughs> so. Yep. Um. Morth, I don't know if you are actually on this stream. Yeah, he is. Um, he just replied. He says, yeah, thanks. Oh, oh, yeah, there you are. <laughs> well, there you go. I mean, you're winning. I mean, you, the luckiest person in the world <laughs> oh. right now. You, you and Ed, respectfully, are both, you know, you're going to get one of those. So Awesome. So oh, by the way, if you receive it, um, Max will probably contact you right now to uh, to oh, yeah, get your information. To, and everything. I'll have to do that because I really need to know where you live. Otherwise, yeah. Uh, if just, if you receive it, that. take a picture and um, maybe post it in in the same same thread that um, that the poems are posted in, or you could just send it to uh, the Team Lucid Dream Facebook page and um, or Twitter. And we or might that. just you know we'll probably just feature it on the page yeah. uh, because I really want to see how it looks so yeah <laughs> cool okay yeah so I will contact uh, Morth and Ed uh, hopefully at some point tonight just for your details so so there you go well done well, well done. done both yeah, yeah. Well done. Well, um, and, and thank and th yeah and uh, well done to everybody else who you know who, who put a poem forward it's yeah. uh, I really appreciate that people that people took part in that so it was great yeah, there you go <laughs> Well, uh, <laughs> just quickly before we go, um, <clears throat> two things. First of all, Ed, who won the poster, is also running a Minecraft server that we've all been playing on. Like, I know Max and I have been playing on it. Millen hasn't yet featured his face in it, but he will. He yeah. will. Yeah. Um, I will, and, definitely. But it's just an opportunity for you guys to play Minecraft with us. You do have to download a mod pack, so <laughs> if you want to get the details for it, then Ed will... Uh, I don't know how just email Ed Ed email please um, I need your address up here so you can just email him and then you get a chance to be able to play with us I've been playing a lot of it I must must say and um, thank you Ed <laughs> but that's that so yeah, yeah. Yes, thank you very much yeah um, so um, go on that last uh, sorry I just noticed um, Ali Katie asked a question I didn't want to uh, I wanted to make sure we answered everything before we left. So yeah, last question though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Make it quick. So I've been trying to do filed for a while, but every time I wake up at night, I fall asleep as I wait until the perfect time to do filed. Any advice? Any advice on that? 
because I don't really use file, so... I don't really I just, use file. I don't either. Um, it's a just thing. I, I, okay. I did make the, the, uh, the tutorial, so I should know about it. Um, it's one of those things where you have to kind of like wake up like four hours after. So it's kind of like a wake back to bed, but you just don't get up. You just uh, remain asleep or in mm. like a, a sleeping asleep. position. <laughs> yeah. And you just try and play the piano with your fingers. So if it doesn't work, then just go back to sleep. Um, it's not the end of the world. You can always try again the next day, but you don't want to just stress about it because as soon as you start stressing about it, then it keeps you awake. And that's that. Um, yeah. Okay. That's, that's cool. it. So okay, so uh, I'm just going to quickly plug things. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, do that. yeah. We all get okay. The well, um, wait, just a second oh, before. Yeah, yeah you get oh. the plugs ready. Oh shit! Uh, yeah, I don't right. have a plug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um, I've started making. I've started making more YouTube videos. It's something I hope to do more of. So please subscribe to. My channel, also uh, my Facebook page. I do a lot of artwork on there, and a lot of that is Lucid Dream based. I will put that in the comments now. Uh, so again, you know, it, please, please follow, please follow me. <laughs> yeah, and it's definitely yeah. worth it as well. Your art's amazing. So as we can oh, tell from the, the Geo oh, yeah. poster. Oh yeah, well, there yeah. you go. <laughs> so yes, thank you, and also I just thank, thank, thank. Oh God, I can't speak now. Thanks everyone. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching the the stream as well. It's obviously it means it means a lot to me. So yeah, thank right. you, thank you very much. Thank anyway, you for being here as well. Yeah, it was really yeah. Cool. Uh, we do enjoy um, new blood, as I like to call it, because <laughs> uh, the conversations me and Millen have kind of dry out within <laughs> like the first ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but they're always funny. They're, they're always they're funny. always good. Always <laughs> yeah. good. But yeah, Max, yeah. Uh, anytime you want to jump on, um, we're planning well, on doing. Yeah one off and one on so next week it would just be me and Millen or Millen and myself or Millen and I I don't know grammar was never my good thing but then the <sighs> week after I'm not sure who's on with us the week after uh, I don't think that's decided yet okay so Ed was last week Max or the week before that Max was today so anyone else James you could probably jump in or you know whoever wants to we still got loads of people yep. from America that we haven't had like uh, Sydney hasn't been on it, but she's more of an editor. Tyler, Tyler, yeah, Tyler. Tyler and uh, Stein Brett. from Belgium. Brett, Brett. I, I edited. Stein's not from Belgium. Uh, sorry, where's he from? Where's he from? <laughs> he Holland. is, isn't he? He speaks. Yeah, he's from Holland. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad he's probably not going to oh, watch God, the, the end of this. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on anymore. Um, <laughs> yeah. There's there's loads of people that we could have, but it's... actually, his 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 name is still Jingle now. Remember that's what I'm, <laughs> that's why I'm calling him because of that still poem. Jingle, right? Jingle. Still Jingle. That's it's easy name. for me to remember. Yeah. Um. But but yeah, we've um we've we've done pretty well so far. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah, Brett. Brett's got a video coming out tomorrow. It's quite good. It's about premonitions in a lucid dream, whether or not you can tell the future. And I have to say, I really enjoy. Um, his video. He's only done like two videos, or so, two or three videos. He's, he's really is is really good at it. Actually, I'm quite jealous. If I'm honest, don't be jealous. That he seems. To do. <laughs> don't be jealous. It's all time. Guess, have you added the thumbnail yet or not? I have. Okay. I have. <laughs> I added the thumbnail. I was waiting. I was waiting. <laughs> because I asked Sydney to put the uh, the thumbnail template in our like Google Drive so that I could make yeah. the thumbnails myself because I didn't want to have to keep going back to Sydney and saying Sydney. Can I have a yeah, thumbnail, yeah. please? <laughs> yeah. So that's that. So anyway, Max, uh, thank you very much for joining us. It was very yeah. like my, my mind pleasure. blowing yeah. experience. Yeah. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad. Wait, what's this? Oh. 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 How could we? Forget? Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, shameless plug time for me. Yeah, I can go for it. <laughs> um. Hashtag it. Oh, more. also, I just, <laughs> and this 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 is this is very very late into the stream. I do realize, but it's actually the ra ra rabbit, not just ra ra rabbit. Oh, for crying out mm. loud! <laughs> oh, lost me. Right, that's what you get for <laughs> correcting me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a bit late now, but yeah. Anyway, God. so yeah. Um... Okay, go on. <laughs> I don't have a lot of time to make YouTube videos lately, but what I do is I try to vlog the stuff that I do that makes me 
not have time, so I'm I have been doing a couple of vlogs lately. So if you want to go ahead and check that out, go ahead and, and do, do that. And you know what? Uh, it, it works out chance. well. I yeah. think your videos are all right. I suppose. <laughs> yeah. all right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> That's a ring the endorsement there from Giz. Yeah, they're all right. I suppose yeah. that should be your new thing. Yeah, they're, they're okay. Right. <laughs> all right. Um, let, me, let me try and right. properties. Let's change that sec. Rubber, rubber, All right, good. Rubber, 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 rubber. Um, oh, also, yes. I got a custom link now. I'm youtube.com slash C slash Melon Official. It's good. It's good. So, um, yeah, yeah well I done. think we are all done for the, the time. Yep. Let's see if this works. Yep. Okay. Just check out your name there. Boom. Done. Your name. Bosh. You'll see it in a minute. It'll just change. So, yeah, thank okay. you very much okay. for joining us. Max and Millen, as usual, your company has not been irritating, so that's great. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm not fired today. <laughs> yeah, you're not fired today. <laughs> yes. Um, so that's it, I okay. suppose. Any any yeah. last things before we go, apart from hashtag sub Millen? No, oh, yes, just hashtag, hashtag, hashtag sub Millen. Sub -millen. <laughs> All right. um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's everything. I think that's everything. Okay, so next week... We don't know what the subject topic is going to be, but if you've got any suggestions, and please leave them on the forum page. You go to forum slash something, and it'll be there. <laughs> Discussion of the week. Forum Discussion of the week. Come on. Forum and yeah. Yeah, I mean, of the week. It's off the top of my tongue. You're supposed to be running this thing. I, I Yeah, I know. <laughs> that's, how, that's how well it's going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is why it's going downhill, Max. because <laughs> I'm running the show. <laughs> right. <laughs> So, thank you very much, everyone, for joining us in the stream, and we'll see you again next week, where it'll be me, myself, and Millen. And I will see you all whenever. So, yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Bye. bye. See you guys. See ya. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye. Cheers. See ya. See you later. Bye. Ciao. Bye now. Yeah.